Each and every week, our Small Business Spotlight gives local businesses a chance to shine. And Channel 3's Caitlin Francis takes us to Manchester to check out Sassy Black Yarns. Hi. Hello. The Hilliard Mills is known as America's oldest woolen mill site. And for the first time in more than 80 years, there's yarn for sale inside. I didn't know much about the mills before I actually uh, was interested in leasing a space here. But the more that I found um, about the history and the different buildings and what they used to do in different buildings, I feel like my business brings that all back home. Lakeisha Hurst started Sassy Black Yarns in January of 2020 out of her home and just recently had her grand opening in the mill. Everything has come full circle. I'm actually in a space where they used to dye um, indigo yarns, so everything was blue, like a very dark blue. Um, and if you walk maybe three steps to your right, uh, you will fill the dip in a hole, I mean, dip in a wall floor where the dye pots used to be at. She's hand dyeing yarn, not in those old dye pots, but on her stove with acid dyes to get those vibrant colors. I get a lot of the colors are so beautiful. Even people that don't knit or crochet or do anything with yarn, they're attracted to my table when I do fairs and festivals just by the colors themselves. Yeah. The pinks, purples, oranges, yellows, blues, she combines colors to get what you see here on the racks just right, to get that wow factor. But in addition to the yarn, you can find much more in the shop. I wanted to have a space not only to display and sell my own yarn, um, but a place where people could come, chat, watch Netflix, of course. Um, and if they needed help on a project, if they needed help starting anything, um, I'm a very uh, patient person, so if you wanted to come and learn how to crochet, I'd be more than happy to teach anybody. She sells kits where you can get a pattern to work on and pick the color and type of yarn you like best, alpaca, cotton, or wool. It's a community space. I, I want everybody to feel welcome, um, whether you're a crocheter, a knitter, um, even a weaver, everybody's welcome. And in the space, she welcomes community. She also honors the history, hoping for more success in her future. In Manchester, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.